Well, welcome back. So for you guys, you've just seen this, but I've actually completed this game back in early December and forgot to edit the videos and upload them. So anyway, we're back. Uh, we're going to continue on with a few quests. I know that it's going to be a bit choppy because uh, you're jumping in just to see mostly the quests and not the stuff in between, just so you know. Anyway, thank you for keeping me company, and I hope you enjoy the story of my time at Sand Rock. Uh, and at this point, I think it is the 1.0 uh, version. So. Splendid. Mint and I will start our analysis right away. Oh, by the way. It seems everyone in town is taking great interest in this project. It is one of the largest things ever built by mankind in our current era, so I kind of, as they say, get it. Many members of our community insist they want to help. Therefore, I have told them that there is no harm in procuring materials for a large project. I cannot, however, speak to the value of set materials. Nevertheless, it may be worthwhile to speak with people around town. Good luck! I'll try to get these engines and a diagram for the airship to you as soon as possible. Sandrock's building the airship, huh? to be a hole in the ground. It would quickly turn it into one of the most advanced cities in the Alliance. Will it be too much? Too fast for us? Well, only time will tell. Got you this in any case. Good luck. Me and Crystal heard about that six-star commission, so we had the boys go on a special tour down in the ruins. Grab some stuff we thought you could use. Here you go. <laughs> heard about the airship. Pretty cool. I have just the thing. Meet Remy, the Sunstone. He's a rare and capable rock who's seeking purpose in his life, to be part of something great. This may be a chance for him to fulfill his destiny. Oh, here's two more sunstones in case you lose him. Thank you. Wow, it looks like we have even more shining faces than yesterday. Seems like Desert Teak has positively inspired our delightful townsfolk. Who knows how long until the whole of the free cities has the Desert Teak streak? Today we will be showing the Summer Heat Swimwear Collection, the design inspired by our constant shining companion. Now that our beloved town has solved the water crisis, it seems that it is a better time than ever to relax and take some time off in the shining blue water. Swimsuits are no longer the reserve of the free city's elite. No, now the common folk can enjoy the sun and bathe. So let's welcome our models back onto the stage. Yeah. 
Who knew he got that under his shirt? Thank you everyone for watching the Summer Heat Collection. Again, if you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. Trust me, you won't regret it. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. It pains me to say that today is the final day of the Desert Teak Fashion Show. Thank you all for your support, and I hope you all become fans of our humble town. I have no words for how I feel. As I traveled, I always came back to Sandrock. I knew, buried somewhere deep in the sand, that there was a spark of creativity, that there was something here to bring us into a new, more fashionable future. But don't worry, I won't stop giving you all the most wonderful haircuts, but I shall be providing you with the newest in high fashion. Thank you for coming and showing me support, everyone. Howdy do, neighbor. <laughs> I think that was the first thing I said to you. Wow, hard to believe we've come so far, huh? Here's a little pick-me-up in case the job gets to be a bit too much. Of course, my greater contribution to this project will be convincing old Coop that that flying machine is nothing to worry about. about Y'all are building an airship? Uh, when will they learn? Oop. <laughs> uh, I want to learn how to swim. Do you have any for kids? I can think of nothing. I want to. Oh, there's so many. Which should I choose? I'm definitely oh, going to buy some. They're all so beautiful. I want to learn how to swim. So, what do you think? There's a better book. I want them all. Thank you. I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh, there's so many. You know what it really what should I choose? A buck a on. big Katori buck world. On. How about a Dry little buck on. discount? Ten goals a kilo. I... You're wearing a swimsuit. You know really, uh, really handsome. Good. It suits you. Thank you. I felt very uncomfortable. <laughs> but everyone was so happy. Seeing everyone so happy, I don't feel as uncomfortable. I think it is okay. Sometimes the show was fun. Here, your task. I've heard this will help if you get tired. Ten goals a kilo. I want to. You know what? It really looked good. A big Katori world I want to world learn how to logo. swim. Do you have any for kids? Oh, there's so many. What should I choose? So does that mean that they're not going to be in those outfits going forward? I sort of hope not. Oh. Logan. <laughs> oh, gotta say, those clothes are actually pretty nice. I hope they change back to their default clothes. It's quite immersion breaking for me. I hate it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, great. They flipped back. <laughs> I've always said, make love, not war. Finally, they're kind of listening to me with this whole airship thing. Obviously, I have nothing of value to offer you on this endeavor. So here is a single plum, floating in perfume, served in a man's hat. You're welcome. See ya. Pablo's diary is mostly sarcastic observations about people in town. Rock Hair of the Year Award, though you don't doubt Pablo's skill, you also don't remember seeing any other hairdressers in San Rock. Hey! Welcome! Nian has been spreading the word about our shop, and the response has been incredible. Everyone seems to want something green or floral for their homes. I didn't expect such a great turnout on our first day. <laughs> I knew your mini botanica would be a hit. Who wouldn't love some plants as decorations? It's just that the conditions in Sand Rock weren't ideal before. But now we have the means to keep them alive. It's so nice of you to visit us on our first day, Grandma Vivi. Here's your order. And we've also included something special as a shop opening gift. Oh, a gift? How lovely. Thank you. I wish your business all the success. Bye, Grandma Vivi. Goodbye. All customers today will receive a free gift. This one's for you. Take a look. It's a hydrangea. It's a special breed we got from a florist in Portia. Isn't it beautiful? It's now yours to keep. Thank you for being with us from the beginning and for coming by today. All right. I need to attend to other customers now. But I'll see you at the celebratory dinner at the Blue Moon tonight. This airship is going to be a lean, mean, green... Thank you. You've already done enough, Grace. <laughs> so true. But guess what? I got you this anyway. The robot I smashed wasn't using it anymore. I'm confused. How do you buy stuff from it? There's like no or anything? Oh, here it is. Cute. Hey! You made it! We've already ordered the food. Yeah! Come join the celebration! I was a bit worried about starting a new business selling flowers and plants, but it turned out great. Going, we knew exactly the types of flora that Sandrockers liked, all thanks to Mian's research. <laughs> thanks. All I did was ask around. You're the one that's amazing. Getting everything set up in such a short time. You really thought this through. Impressive. Yeah, we did, didn't we, Nia? Yay! Go us! 
All right, let's raise our glasses for a toast. First, a big thanks to the Builder for all their help. Second, let's celebrate the realization of Nia's and my dreams. And lastly, let's toast to Nia's spreading roots in Sandrock with her business up and running. Cheers! Okay, time to dig in. Whew, that was a busy day, and now I'm starving. Starting today, I'm not just botanist Nia. I'm the proud owner of the Mini Botanica. <laughs> of course, I'll still come to you two for advice and guidance in the days to come. <laughs> of course, Nia. I'm the shop's co-owner and your partner. I'll always have your back. Tomorrow marks a new chapter in my life in Sandrock. Thanks for everything today. And Mian. It's getting late and I should head home. See you both later. Bye. Take care. Here's the diagrams for Advanced Airship. It is, put simply, a masterpiece. We hope you enjoy building it as much as we enjoyed designing it. I hear that Commissioner Wei and the other builders have already completed the construction pad around the Yakmo farm, and you can install the airship there. And in case we don't get a chance to build anything all together like this again anytime soon, it's been an absolute pleasure, pleasure creating it with you. Not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. Well, lay it on me, boss. Let me go in for a second bite. So, you did go with more ginger, huh? Right you are. My line of thinking? Sandfish tend to be entirely too pungent. In order to balance out the fishiness of the fish, I thought I'd try to cover that particular profile with ginger. Not bad. Hey, you've got one thing down. You can talk the talk. However, there still remains the subject of walking the walk. Not quite there yet, huh? Well, problem is, boiling ginger in milk causes the milk to curdle. Uh, does it really? I had no idea. Hey, don't worry. It's one of those things. The only way to know is to have it happen to you. It's just about experience. You've got the right mindset. Let's keep going. Oh, how's it going? Hey, come on in. I've gotten pretty decent at making stuff out of a recipe book. 
Now I'm trying to take things to the next level by thinking up dishes of my own. It's turning out to be as tough as putting a bullet through a bunker window at five leagues. <laughs> Cooking is not your enemy, Grace. It's something you have to feel flowing through you. If you think of it as a foe to be conquered, you will only wrestle with it. Instead, let go. Let it take you by the hand and guide you to dance a dance of flavor. Very cool and mystical, boss, but... If I can't get it together, there's no reason for me to keep working with you, man. I don't need the money, and you don't need amateurs stinking up your kitchen, tarnishing your good name. Whoa, this just got serious all of a sudden. Let's just give it some time, all right? I can hardly imagine the blue moon without you, Grace. Uh, quit your yammering. I got something to talk about that's a million times better than whatever y'all are talking about. I've come to share with you all my latest compositions. It's a concept album that can only be performed as a single, uninterrupted ditty. Unless I have to start from the beginning, and you guessed it, it's real long. Ah, shoot, Coop. We were just in the middle of trying out some new items for our menu. Can it wait? No. Try a bite. No. It's free. Uh, now, why didn't you say so? Uh, right. Well, just go ahead. Dig in. Perhaps my new dishes had no effect on our master chef, but will resonate more brightly with the common man. See? It's good that I arrived before someone genuinely in need. You see, if you just give handouts to every Tom, Dick, and Jerry, uh, uh, they'll never learn the value of a hard-earned goal. <sighs> yes, because of my interception here, someone will be pulling themselves up by the bootstraps of it. <laughs> it's, it's so... <laughs> Unfathomably what? Ah, it seems our good friend Cooper is for once at a loss for words. Your dish has stunned him with its majesty. His mind has been sent to another plane, a realm where there is only deliciousness. Let the man speak, Owen. And you two, winking at each other again, please never join the ACI. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It ain't like nothing I ever had before. I don't think we can print that review. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I get it. I should just give up. You don't need to sugarcoat it. Uh, uh, sugarcoat wouldn't make it any worse. Um. Grace, you're being too hard on yourself. I get that you're good at everything. This is just gonna take a little more elbow grease than you're used to. That's all. Let's take a break. Whew. I'm parched. Can I drink this? I need it, too. Let's to wash down all the... <laughs> the ginger. The curdled ginger. Oh, my peach on a pogo stick. <laughs> Tis the nectar of the gods. <laughs> I want to bawl my eyes out. Intoxicating dream. A cocktail that will take you back to a special place in your memories. Oh, um, I just made up some frilly stuff to put on the label. It doesn't actually work. No, no, that's not the point. The point is, this drink is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Mama! <sighs> Life had just begun. And now I've gone and thrown it all away. Yeah, um, just some sand berries, raspberry juice, ice. Oh, and some mint leaves thrown in. Just that. No trick to it. Uh, I call to you, Mother, on the day of memory. Why do you not answer? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what counts as a trick? Hmm, now that you mention it, yeah, while I was making it, I couldn't find a spoon and... 
Back when I was in the service, I used to shake my grenades before throwing them at my enemies. You know, just a cute thing I like to do. So I put another cup over the top of the drink and shook it up for luck, I guess. Hmm, shaken, not stirred. Well, whatever you did, this is a smash hit. Best thing you've ever made. Maybe we should get you mixing up a few more of your ideas, huh? Let me have a sip. Try it. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. Ooh. You don't say, mister. Cool beverage cascades down your throat, refreshing you. The flavors are assorted berries tingle across your tongue, and suddenly you recall a time when you were petting a kitten and all your troubles seem so distant. Wait a second. How does it do the memory uh -huh. thing? You guys are really having memories sparked by my drink? It's just juice and mint. Gotta be a placebo effect. So everything I cook, kill it with fire. Every drink I mix, heaven in a glass? Well, this is only your first hit. Hopefully the first of many. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious. Do we look like we're faking it? You don't... So, if I may be so bold... Grace, why don't you take the next few days to mix and shake up some drinks for us? And, if they're all even half as good as this one... We could have ourselves a drinks menu. Set up a second counter over there, start calling it a cafe. Grace's Cafe? Grace's Mixology? Something like that. Incognito Infusions by Grace. Oh, squeeze the day. Come on, man. And you don't need to do all that for me. Hey, just trying to do good business. <laughs> It'd be your thing, so we can do it however you want. We'd both come and try your drinks, right? It is nice, always having you two in my corner. All right, let's do it. I'll start mixing more drinks. Mabel! <laughs> I don't deserve you! <laughs> I, uh, guess we're not going to hear the new Kugo concept album today. Uh, you don't know that. He could be back. Seeing that that's the case, think I might start my juice journey tomorrow. Thanks, you two, for the pep talk. Sounds good. Take it easy. Howdy. Who would have thought that the once barren sand rock would not only turn green, but also have its very own flower shop? So long, partner. Dear Pearl, on behalf of the Vega 5 uh, Aquarium, I'm writing to complain about what you're using our fish for. We thought fish sword was just some kind of word mix-up referencing swordfish. We don't want you using any of our fish as weapons. It's dangerous and irresponsible, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, we will not be honoring any of your other orders, and your payment will be refunded. Sincerely, on behalf of your fishy friends, Adam Tilden, the Reef Guy. Yes, your slogan, the only place where you can tune a piano and tune a fish is insulting. And again, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Do I even want to know? Okay, outfit change in case uh, event photos take place.
absolutely masterful. You've outdone yourself. Wow. That... that's an airship, all right. Can't wait to see it in action. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Did we really make that? Somebody pinch me. Yeah, just let me pinch myself first. I should steal enemy blueprints more often. A green sandrock with this level of development. Everyone's going to go nuts at the summit. They'll hardly recognize the place. Well, <laughs> I know a few folks who'd recognize it. Hmm. Theo, Martel. Yeah. Well, it needs a name. Oh, true. We were so busy making it happen, I hadn't even thought about that. Just calling the airship, airship? <laughs> we're kind of like those kinds of people who never name their mounts and just call their horse, horse. <laughs> oh, I don't know anyone like that. I'm not saying it's a lot of people. Here, horse. Come here, horsey. <laughs> not ringing any bells at all? Lore's open to suggestions, folks. Osimo Neo Prime Echo Yonikin's Epoch X. Percent sign. You were ready for that one. Okay. Uh, hmm. Any other suggestions? SS Sandrock. A bit on the nose, if you ask me. Uh, might be the kind of thing that we shouldn't overthink. Overthink? I take my coffee black, and my naming conventions completely devoid of symbolism. Bully to you, you have my vote. Could be good for our brand recognition. If we have it flying over to other cities. Then there'll be no mistaking that this is the ship that Sandrock built. I can get behind that. Nice to be recognized, I guess. All right then, SS Sandrock it is. Someone needs to test it, by the way. As confident as I am in our design, it would simply be bad practice to allow our free alliance representatives to take an especially maidenly maiden voyage. I will take it up with justice. We'll take it out at night, so when everyone sees it at the summit celebration, it'll be for the first time. Very well, let us all retire. If you're not awakened by explosions tonight, assume that our airship has been a success. Let's see. <laughs> yep, I'm right. Your pa and I will be arriving by train to Sand Rock the day after tomorrow in the morning and the day of the public ceremony and the big banquet. We heard about the Luna concert and think it's going to be a bit too loud for us. We'll see you then. Justice and I tested out the airship SS Sand Rock last night and everything worked out perfectly. Congratulations again to all of the Commerce Build guild builders and the botanists and the researchers and the engineers that worked on this project you are all literally the best and just in the nick of time too the first day of the summit takes place tomorrow please check the enclosed schedule for more details we have a lot of play events planned including a performance from the world famous luna delegates and other visitors will be arriving tomorrow i will be receiving them at various locations if you see them wandering around be sure to give them a sand rock howdy do and Grace. I've been working on some new dishes, and they've been turning out not terrible. Why don't you try yourself and see if they suit your taste buds? I'm still surprised there's nothing right here in the center. I thought for sure there's gonna be like a fountain or something. It's a big wide open space for Ain't that the truth? Reasons. Ooh. Some people even got so hungry that they'd Ooh, there are kids here. All aboard Better the save that train. Part for a more adult crowd. This dang sermon gonna end. <laughs> here for a drink. Hey, so my custom drinks are a hit. Owen thinks they're great, and long story short, I'm going to open a little booth right out in front of the blue moon. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be a nice way to kind of retire. 
Just sit behind the juice bar, squeeze fresh fruit into a glass, listen to folk tell me their stories. Can you help me with the booth? I think you just need a few materials and you could pop one up right there by the blue moon. What do you say? Should be no trouble for the hero builder of Sandrock. <laughs> this looks like a job for me. Great. I've got a few final things I can get ready, but when you have the materials you need, go ahead and build up the booth outside the blue moon. All right, all right. Let's go get that started real quick. Oh, and yeah, handsome. Yeah, handsome fella. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds good, but I don't think it's always applicable. All right, Sandrock, get ready to squeeze the day. <laughs> I was in a bad mood before, but I've really come around on the name. Looks good. I can't wait to start. I'll start moving things in. Should be ready to open tomorrow. Don't forget to come by. Howdy. A ton of food prep to be done. A lot on my plate, as I use sometimes. A lot of plates on my plate. Uh, well, I get the eye talk later. Hey, see you around. Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. Tells me he can't talk to me because he's got to go make dishes, but yet he's just stumbling along the train tracks. Hmm. Let's go talk to Logan. Never been one for politics. Do your speeches and get back on your fancy carriages. If your Duvos comes knocking again, we'll tell you, tell him you said hello. Oh, I can't gift him. Those weapons I made. Oh, thank you. Some familiar faces, huh? Well, one, the mayor. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh, hello. You're up bright and early. Always am. I was just about to check our fine associates here into the Blue Moon before heading to City Hall for the big summit meeting. Hi. Hello. Greetings. 
They're all quite excited to meet with you and everyone else. But we need to take care of a bit of business first. In the meantime, why don't you check around town? We have speakers in Marble Square and on both of the Blue Moon stages all day, covering a variety of topics. I sent to everyone an event schedule by mail. Check your mailbox if you haven't already. I'm a bit miffed myself, having to miss out on Moose's talk about money management. <sighs> but perhaps you can fill me in. Later on in the evening, we'll finish our summit and all head over to Luna's performance on the Blue Moon stage, followed by a fireworks show. Then, tomorrow, we'll announce the results of the summit, followed by a huge banquet in the Blue Moon to celebrate, rounding it all off with the maiden voyage of our airship on the morning after. Mayor Trudy, daylight's wasting. Shall we? Uh, just a moment. I need to meet with... Hello, Sandrock! Miss Luna! So wonderful to finally make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, ma'am. <laughs> Where shall I put my things? <laughs> uh, what is all of that? Only the essentials, Miss Mayor. Makeup, wardrobe, microphones, cables, pyrotechnics. But don't worry, my delightful roadies are here to take care of everything. They're the best. Say hi, guys! Are they twins by another mother? <laughs> They're identical, but skin color and hair color. Okay, sorry. Yo! <laughs> Deadly. Hiya. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, if you're sure you've got it, I'm sure Owen can make room somewhere in the blue moon. Please, Ms. Mayor. We're professionals. You just sit back, relax, and leave the entertainment to us. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Miss Luna. I'll just go with our other guests then. About time. See you after the summit. And enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Hey, hi. I'm Luna. I'm Manilia. Oh, I know who you are. You heard one of the heroes of Sandrock. You know my brother, right? Seen him around at least, right? Pen in hand, nose always buried in a book. He's supposed to be here, as a matter of fact. Luna! There you are. There's my big brother. What happened? You said you were just coming for a visit, and now you live here? Well, you know me. I change my mind about as often as you change your hair color. Oh, come on. I changed my hair way more. No, I missed you so much. I missed you too. Right. Is everything okay at home? Home? I haven't been back in a long time. I've been doing shows down south lately. But I read in the newspaper that Ma won another singing award and Pa's newspaper is getting bigger. I love it here. Everywhere is sand and cactus. It's just so... Wildernessy, And you, Ernie, is everything okay here? <laughs> yes, I kind of felt the same way, but it's rare to hear that from you. Everything is good for me here. I've made a lot of friends and even gotten more inspiration. I've just been talking with your friend here. So this is the five-star builder you told me about? That's right. My friend is now famous throughout the whole Alliance. I'll say. And hmm... Sandrock is also becoming more and more famous within the Alliance. I'll have to book more shows here in the future. So, you're headlining the summit? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you'll make the same mistake as last time and sing the wrong lyrics like you did at Atara Fest. You... <laughs> There's no way I'd make the same mistake twice. Just wait. I'll give the most perfect performance of my life in Sandrock. Sorry, I have to go rehearse now. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. I'd better help my sister out. Enjoy the summit! I guess we're going this way. That was an awkward meeting. Stamina?
Smile, Avery. I know you'd rather be back at headquarters, but everyone's here to welcome us. If only General Ling hadn't insisted that I join the summit. Hey, you've been to Sand Rock before. I'm sure you're missed here. It's true, where have you been, Avery? Uh, glad to see you again, Builder. This is my colleague, Mr. Gaudi. You must be the Builder everyone's been talking about. The pleasure is all mine. I can't wait to see what you've accomplished in Sandrock. Mr. Gaudi is our chief engineering consultant, a very capable Builder himself. He's working with us on the planning of the North Development Plan at the Borders. We're lucky to have his help. I'm sure you'll have a lot to discuss. Yes. And here's Avery, trying to shrug me off and secretly plotting his revenge against Duvos. I only have the safety of the Alliance in mind. I often have to remind this guy that the whole point of the development plan is to keep the peace for as long and as wide as possible. That's why we're focused on bringing in talented people and resources to those areas. While everything is in the early stages, it presents a fantastic opportunity for someone like you to become a settlement governor if you join the plan. They oversee the design and development of an entire town, going beyond the limits of a workshop yard. Oh, this is that uh, he's talking about the upcoming mobile game. You can play it on your tablet. Um, I believe it's best on the tablet. Uh, we did play it. I will try to remember to link a video here. We played, I was invited to play the very, very early demo of it to give you the concept of it. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is what he's talking about. Sounds fun. Absolutely. It's hard work, but in an exciting way. I'm looking forward to sharing our progress with other representatives at the summit and getting their input on our next steps. Or we could discuss with the reps of the possibility of forming a fast response plan in case Duvos ever plots another move. In any case, it was good seeing you again. And an honor to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see plenty more of each other tomorrow at the banquet. Till then. kind of emotional and I don't even know why <laughs> hmm. profit and revenue are not the same thing wow thank you so much which brings me to my At the end of the day, it's all just supply and demand. Oh, wait, I really like her cape. Can I have her cape? Ah, you're the builder who famously managed to work with Chi without throwing him out of a five-story window. You must be every bit as good as they say you are. Let's chat more at the banquet. Phew! Even air travel takes it out of you, doesn't it? All I did was sit there and somehow I'm exhausted. You must be the builder. Once this summit is over, I'd love to get more acquainted. Is this really a sand rock? Wow. It's nothing like how I remember it. I wasn't thrilled to be traveling so far for the summit this year, but... Now I can see it was worth it. I love that they're having this meeting in front of the back end of the horses. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you again. You've made us all very proud. I've been told your parents are coming to visit tomorrow. You must be so excited. Oh, we gotta go talk to Gail. Hello. Hmm. I have the strangest feeling. 
like we'd met before. But that's impossible, right? In any case, we in Portia have heard all about you. Let's catch up after the summit is finished, and we can all relax. <laughs> well, you met the person behind the control. It's because... Uh... <laughs> Success is preparation. Ah, the excellent builder of Sandrock. You are a fine reminder to us Tolstoy builders not to rest on our laurels. We'll have to talk shop when we all get a moment. Hope you'll think about my offer. And hey, if you're ever in town, just look me up. I'm sure we can work something out. You'll have fun. I promise. I don't know what her offer was. She didn't offer me anything. Pablo. Hey there. Don't expect any haircuts on the 22nd of spring. It's my birthday. Cut your own hair if you want it so bad. So long, partner. Fertilizer. <laughs> it all started with something as simple as the straw grid. The key was understanding how the process happened naturally, and then replicate any questions. Mr. Musa. You're that young man. I remember now our previous conversation. In fact, I wanted to congratulate you. Congratulate me? Yes, obviously you took all my words to heart. Not long ago, your general store appeared on the first page of my assistant's Emerging Businesses Hot or Not list. You, as it were, <laughs> were hot. This indicates that, by various measures, your store is performing well. And, I guess you could say, it worked like a charm. So, thanks. No, young man. You should thank yourself. I see the changes in you, and no man is an island. I don't doubt that there are more people in your life other than myself who pushed you to be better. Yes! The Builder has also helped me a lot. <laughs> Indeed. The impact Builders can make on this world is huge. I believe that with young people like you and Sam, Development can only get better and better. Thank you, Mr. Musa. So, will you invest in me this time? <laughs> of course. I'll have my assistant get in touch with you. That's great! Did you hear that? I'm finally getting an investment from Mr. Musa. I love speaking at a voice like this. It's a chance for me to give back to the community and meet some tenacious young up-and-comers whose resumes I can file into the back of my mind. He changed clothes. He's not wearing his, uh, his, his bright pants. Has happened naturally, and then replicating any questions. Ah, you must be the builder. Greetings. I have been told so you fought bravely every fire. step of the way. I hope to sit down and this exchange war stories after this nights. meeting has concluded. That, of course, would be about as wise as adding salt to your fire. <laughs> you know, I really wouldn't mind sitting in on a fashion seminar hosted by Mr. Pablo. <laughs> you get it on, Albert. <laughs> no one's freaking out about Xena or... Maybe when we sent out the invite, we also sent out a memo like, Hey, there's a couple of giggers, gigglers who made their uh, home here. <laughs> They're friendly. Be kind to them. Backstores to buy this 
back to our by the stairs. Looks like this is where our video store is always good. This photo was taken not that long ago. Water tower built by Mason. Look, you can already see how the light has gone from his eyes. Those were tough times here. That's just after Miguel and Matilda were both here. Hard to guess what was really going on in this photo. How strange that they were so inspirational, yet practicing the opposite of what they preached. And despite their encouraging presence, things only got worse after that, of course. That is as they planned it. Young one. Thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. Certainly don't base a religion. And the funniest part <laughs> is, the company employee handbook wasn't even written at never, and I mean never, build a doom train out of the city. I used to be a lot like you. Bitter, murderous, megalomaniac. But with this one simple piece of advice, I turned my life around. Which brings me to my next point. <laughs> All right. Larry, you won. <laughs> you won the summit. Hello, everyone. For those of you who are new in town, I'm Owen, and this here is one of my oldest friends, the Sheriff of Sandrock, Justice. Howdy, y'all. Something I'm known for around these parts is telling stories. I hear all sorts of tall tales working behind the bar, and with permission, I'll write them down and share them with y'all every Saturday night. But, <laughs> well, I don't need to tell you all that tonight's a special occasion. And for that reason, I'll be telling a new tale. Ours. The Battle of Sandrock. With a little help from my pal here, who was on the front lines. Do I care about this? Yes. Those of you who follow the news probably know the basic. A couple of yellow bellies were up to no good in this town. And they would have got away with it too. Yeah, I guess they would have if not for Builder, huh? Well, yes, I mean, we all played an important role. I think the Builder would tell you the same thing. Yeah, but their plan really started to unravel as soon as Builder showed up. I mean, you guys were totally stumped. <laughs> yes, uh, all of the major breaks in our case did happen to coincide with the Builder's arrival. That is accurate. Psst. Hey, man, I thought you said you were going to make me look cool up here. Builder's already famous. <laughs> For justice. Right. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. For us ordinary citizens of Sandrock, it all really began when, uh, Justice was bravely defending the city. Mm-hmm. And the famous Builder you all know was working behind the scenes with a secret agent from Atara to track down the secret water supply under the church. And that secret agent, ah, uh, totally died. Really tragic. So sad. So sad. Gone, but not forgotten. Yes, there were great sacrifices made. And out of town to put her life on the line for all of us. 
And for that, we are internally grateful. Yeah. <laughs> so, once the jig was up, the conspirators <laughs> made one last ditch effort to shift the blame onto the Logan. And as it so happened, you had just caught Haru. Isn't that right, Justice? Actually, it was... It wasn't me who caught Haru. Ah, unsure then. <laughs> you know that guy really doesn't get enough credit. It was Pan, man. Pan caught Haru. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dang. We really should have rehearsed this. <laughs> um, so, anyway. <laughs> they call Builder to the stand, accuse him of working with Logan. But it was too little too late. Logan had already found out about the water under the oasis. He pulled down the peach statue, and then there was no hiding from the truth for our perpetrators. One of them tried to take a pot shot at Logan before he could finish his heroic speech, but suddenly our ex-minister Matilda jumped right in front, and she took one through the shoulder. Why do you reckon she did that anyhow? Maybe, despite her villainous role. She really liked Sandrock, and couldn't bear to let someone get hurt because of her evil schemes. Nah, that's dumb. <laughs> Hmm, maybe she thought we were on to her, and a move like that would help her keep her identity secret. I mean, at the time, I personally suspected her like zero. Well, whatever the case, then it was absolute bedlam, as the evil criminal mastermind known as Penn attacked the whole town. We were ready for him, though. And that's pretty much it. A lot of heroes were made that day. And thus concludes the tale of the Battle of Sandrock. <laughs> that was hilarious retelling. <laughs> Poor Grace. <laughs> My parents said they'd be arriving this morning. I better go pick them up at the station. After that, there's a summit announcement meeting to attend. Gonna meet her parents! <laughs> oh, wow, this air is dry. <laughs> For some reason, this is what I thought our parents would look like, but I'll take it. We're here! <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so funny. Okay. Ah. Look at you. You look so mature and professional and... Did you grow an inch? <laughs> Might be the shoes. We've got so much to tell you about. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. Let's get our bags to the hotel, huh? Oh, is that Mayor Trudy? Mayor Trudy, we meet at last! Let me just say, it has been not just an honor, but an absolute delight to have your child here in Sandrock. You could have just saved our town, and we'd have been eternally grateful. But you just had to go the extra mile and be a wonderful person while doing it. Sounds par for the course. Oh, you hear that? Oh, I'm so proud of what you've done here. Proud of you, too. Mm. Oh, I brought you a yakmel milk, as discussed. This is the real fresh stuff. The exported kind is good, but... Oh, just try it for yourself. You take it cold, yes? Well, I learned to drink it cold. When you were a baby, as a matter of fact. You know, Trudy. Heat up your Yakmel milk, chase the kid around, come back to find it cold. Oh, <laughs> so true. <laughs> Jasmine got me the same way. I prefer mine hot. Uh, do you have another? Oh, uh, I don't, but... Well, let's run over to the Blue Moon and get a hot Yakmel milk for your darling husband. That sounds lovely. 
There's so much to see here. When the celebrations are over, I want you to show us everything. I sort of noticed everything, everyone coming from High Wind is kind of dressed, uh, I've old fashioned, classic fashion. I hate to tear you away from your folks like this, but they actually sent me to come get you. Do you mind running over to Martel Square to check in with General Ling? We'll be right behind you. Oh, we don't want to keep you from something important, dear. Pa, let's get our bags to the Blue Moon. Thanks for meeting us at the station. Looks like they want you to get to that meeting. Don't worry, you can introduce us to everyone later. And I agree with your ma. I want to see all the things you've done here too. We really missed you. But I can see already how important coming here was for you. Even the way you stand. You're more confident now. Of course, I wasn't crazy about all that Dubo stuff. But things are safe now. We'll visit more often. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm starting to sound like that guy you told us about. Uh, Cooper? Well, go ahead. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Love you. See you in the square. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah. We weren't going to miss this. Do you need something of us? I am pleased to inform you that you all are guests of honor. I wanted to make sure personally that you were here before speeches begin. That's kind of you. Thank you, sir. Of course, of course. Please, this way. Did we miss anything? Shh! It's starting! Friends, citizens, people of the Free Cities, welcome to the Alliance Quinquennial Summit. It has been an honor already for our humble city to host this event thus far. I've heard only great things about our speakers. Let's have a round of applause for all of our fabulous volunteers. My talk went over time. And now, it is with great pleasure, I inform all of you the results of our first day of talks. It is clear to us all that the Duvos Empire is posing an ever greater threat to our great alliance. First, the attack on Sandrock. Then, the rogue knight in Portia. And finally, the aggression toward our friends in Athea up north. This cannot stand. Various solutions have been proposed, some of which will be drafted and voted upon as policy in the near future. We have also agreed that bolstering the northern settlements bordering the Duvos conquered Athean territory and developing a more interconnected alliance economy are keys to our security. Questions remain, however, as to how exactly this will be carried out. We'll need much more capital investment and capacity if we're to succeed in our plans. Some delegates even brought up the possibility of unifying the taxes and economy planning of the Free Cities. But so far, that's not on the agenda, as we all do value our independence. But one thing we were able to unanimously agree upon is that what happened here in Sandrock over the last few years is nothing short of a miracle. And for that reason, the Summit delegates have taken it upon themselves to personally thank some of the key players in making our town into what it is today. We have prepared a few awards for some of the outstanding citizens of Sandrock. Ahem. First off, I would like to call forward my friend and longtime colleague, Zeke. Uh. Come on up here, Zeke. You deserve this. Mr. Zeke. After learning your story, our delegates, as well as the other researchers of Vega 5, were absolutely blown away. Many of our scientists are known for having their heads in the clouds, looking to replicate old world technology. But you used your brilliant mind and incredible tenacity right here on the ground, making our free cities a better and more sustainable place for all of us to live. For these reasons and more, 
On behalf of our Council, I hereby award you with the Alliance Council Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Science. Congratulations, Zeke. <laughs> Thanks. Some fights are over in a flash, and some are fought across a lifetime. Not all wars are fought on the battlefield. There stands among us a man who could tell us all about that. A war fought across a lifetime. Every day a struggle, and for all of his troubles, he was only, until just now, ever rewarded with more. This man will go down in the history books as a hero, as an inspiration. Whenever you're about to give up, I hope you will remember this man who never did. For the man who always believed in Sandrock, the Alliance Council would like to bestow upon Mr. Mort with the Free City's Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. Mort, please join your son on the stage and accept your award. Thank you, sir. We have one more award to give out. One that we just nearly overlooked. Miss Mian, could you please come to the stage? Thank you, everyone. I'm honored to be giving out the Commerce Guild's Top Builder Award. It only seemed right that I nominate the person I thought best fit that description. Again with the blade. <laughs> They're the ribs for me thinking <laughs> that she was a traitor. <laughs> the recipient of this award is not just a great builder, but a great friend to all the people of Sanrock. When I first met you, I said, do you remember? I said, let's make a promise, builder to builder. A promise to take Sanrock back to its glory days. Back then, I wasn't sure if I really believed we really could. Shoot for the moon, for if you miss, you may still land among the stars, as they say. But, as time went on, and I saw you do these things, these incredible things, I wanted to follow your example and do my best to keep my promise to you. And because of your dedication, your hard work, your incredible ability, your inspiring presence, you kept that promise. Not for me, not for yourself, but for all of us. It is with great pleasure I inform you all that it's not just my opinion, but the opinion of the entire Free Cities Commerce Guild, that our Free Cities' next top builder is none other than you! Welcome to the club. <laughs> it's my honor to share this stage with you. <laughs> Congratulations! Ooh, looks good on you. Woo! It was this or your builder and Porsche. No hard feelings, eh, old chap? <laughs> That's all right. We're the same person. It's fine. None at all. <laughs> all right. Take a bow, you three. One more round of applause for the heroes of Sandrock. I hereby conclude the summit's announcements. Now, let's go party! <laughs> Psst! Over here! Can you sit with our guests for a bit? I've saved you a seat. Hello, and thank you all for coming. Let's celebrate to our heart's content for today. Tomorrow morning, we ride the airship. But for now, cheers to a new age for Sandrock. Let's dig in. After working together from afar for so long, it's nice to finally meet some of you face to face. I've been rooting for you all since the beginning and, well, it's wonderful to be able to see for myself what all you've been able to accomplish. The sun is shining, the weather is warm, 
and there's flowers and grass are as far as the eye can see. I honestly can't wait to bring my daughter here to see these changes. I truly believe that Sandrock's back on the map. And we truly need you guys. With the development of Portia and Sandrock, the center of the Alliance is no longer a weak spot. I second that notion. And may I also add that it's wonderful to see our two Highwinders here making such fantastic contributions to the process. Indeed, they are a living testament to the power of the free cities working together. But hey, when are you going to give us our builder back, huh? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But dang, you guys sure did get the pick of the litter. Oh, but also, to show our support, I brought a few gifts seeds and such from our botany school to help out with your planting team. And, uh, you know, we're not exactly new to the planting game either, so we'd love to collab sometime. Oh, naturally. I see what you did there. Oh, by the way, Mayor Trudy, I do hope you'll take into consideration my words during the summit. The Duvos affair had quite an impact on our tentative peace treaty with them. Yes. I don't doubt that it did. Not to mention that horror news from Portia. What has become of your rogue knight anyhow, Gail? You know, the one that destroyed a quarter of your city with that doomsday device? Yeah, I want to know too. She goes by Wendy now. <laughs> Quaint. As for the rogue knight, he's disappeared without a trace. Right. We're working with the flying pigs to track him down. After the Portia incident... We also did a full sweep of the military hierarchy, looking for any more Duvos spies. At least so far, we haven't found any. Are there any indication that Duvos will expand their land grab of Athea? Will the Alliance react? My settlement plans will be in shambles if there's an actual shooting war. So oh, is the third game going to be my time at Athea? It, it rolls. <laughs> that is up to the Council to decide. But the guards stand ready to... Uh, my fellow delegates, today is cause for celebration. Let's keep the mood light, shall we? Of course, of course. It's this Yakmel milk. Got my mouth running. I'll have another glass to make amends then. Mayor Trudy, your town's band has quite a unique sound. It's a little country and a little rock. I can even hear some heavy metal vibes in there. <laughs> That's our Kugo band. Cooper's a rancher and Hugo's a blacksmith here in town. Ahem. I didn't see our director, Chi. Pity he didn't attend, though I'm not surprised. I heard he's here researching some spaceship ruins. It's the Starship Ruins, Administrator Curie. Your assumption is not unfounded, but your conclusion is misinformed. dancing robot and it's not harming anyone Things are about wrapping up around here. Yep, yeah, peace.
peace and prosperity throughout the land. A green sand rock, true jewel of the desert. Looks like my work here is done. You, on the other hand, you're just getting started. Sure, you took care of the lizard people, the mole men, the rat conspiracy, as well as the shadowy cabal that sought to devour us from within. Not bad for your first adventure. Reminds me of myself at your age. Of course, I might have handled it all with a bit more finesse, but it can't be ignored that you do bring that personal brand of moxie to the game that we have grown to know and adore. Anywho, there's still plenty of rogue factions still on the radar. The Moon Men, for example. They've been quiet this whole time. Too quiet. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> he's not wrong. There's still one more fantastical photo face on your grand adventure. And he's standing right in front of you. <laughs> Keep a bit of a backstory on the Moon Men. <laughs> Just want to be sure you've got the motivation we can hardly declare war on a group of individuals if we ain't properly identified our qualms with them and their ways of life and why they're bad. The moon, as we all know, is simply a projection, a, a hologram that comes from a machine built by the werewolf people. <laughs> Remember this name. Although they won't be relevant again until the DLC, that stands for Delayed Till Later Conflict. <laughs> Anyway, the Moon Men they lost their home in the Great Moon Wars thousands of years ago. Since then, they've been biding their time, gaining power by drinking lava inside the core of the planet. Yeah, they suck it up like milkshakes. At any moment, and I'm talking about literally any moment, I'm talking now. Okay, how about now or now? All right, so maybe not right this moment, but like I said, could literally be any moment. These moon men will burst out of the crust of our planet, begin laying waste to our prairies and fields, fondling our churches, burning our yagmal, all with one singular goal in mind, to turn our planet into the moon. Now, this goal, it's understandable to an extent. They're homesick. Moon sick, if you will. Unfortunately, this puts us at irreparable odds and ends with the moon men, being that we humans prefer our planet not being the moon. So, uh, yeah, like I said, one of us has got to die. I vote for them. Now, I reckon I'm not completely against the idea of some sort of compromise. Could we turn part of our planet into the moon a little bit? Maybe carve out a little island for them to live peacefully and do moon stuff? Just spitballing here. Uh, we don't have to go with this. I just came up with it. Moon Island? I mean, we'd have to run it by the moon men, uh, check it for copyright, but uh, I don't know. Uh, workshop it. <laughs> uh, that's your thing, right? Uh, look. Just let it be known that we didn't not explore other options before resulting to all-out war. But, you know, failing that, like I said, all-out war! And you're gonna have to lead the charge. I would, of course, but, well, shucks. I, these days, I, I've just got too much to live for. Finally got this greener sand rock to raise my kin in. Working on a new nocturne today. A lot on the plate. You know how it is. Moon men weaknesses include fireballs, kung fu kicks, and I believe they're lactose intolerant, but granted, that one is harder to work with. I can try to help you out there, but no promises. It can't just be giving milk away. Even if it is to combat intergalactic lava fiends posing a planetary threat, gotta eat. Like I said, you know how it is. Uh, hey, well, uh, shoot. I kind of realized maybe I'm taking up a bit of your time. Yeah, um, you got a party to get back to, ain't you? 
Uh, well, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Uh, tis my first offense, after all. You know, most instances where some kind of event like this would take place, I'd probably make a comment that everyone involved is highly overrated, regardless of whether or not I knew that to be true. But, uh, seeing as I happen to know you personally and whatnot, I reckon, yeah, I reckon, you're all right. You should run for office. Any office. I'd vote for you. Vampires are real, though. Buying up real estate. Using the gift of eternal life to make explosive property value gains. It's enough to make you sick. Imagine being priced out of a home just because a vampire been sitting on it for 600 years. Oops. <laughs> I almost got myself riled up again. <laughs> oh, well, you have a good one. Don't be a stranger. Oh, and remember, if they let you pilot that thing, Anytime you turn left up there, you have the right of way. Or is it the right? Uh, regardless, uh, perhaps the rules of the skies have changed since I was last up there. Uh, tell you what, you punch a hard left and the other feller up there doesn't get out of your way, I owe you a yakma milk. I'll even offer up to help pry you from the burning wreckage. <laughs> you know, if time permits. Oh, and one more thing, uh, make sure you stock up on parachutes up there. Uh, folk will tell you those things are safer than automobiles. Well, I beg to differ. Uh, crashed far more airships than I did, automobiles I did. Any vehicle for that matter, uh, save for school buses. Uh, they're deceptive. Uh, you think you got the whole sky up there, then bam, giant duck cuts you off while you're adding marshmallows to your cocoa. Uh, rear end them, knock your front bumper clean off. Yeah, never get into a wreck with a giant duck, tell you what. No insurance. You gotta chase them down, <laughs> get them to land, then quack it out. Oh, uh. and when they offer you one duck egg, tell them, make it three, then settle for two. Them ducks be haggling. <laughs> What's that look for? Come on, there's plenty more duck eggs where that one came from. Uh, they're practically made of the stuff. I gotta look out for me and mine. I suggest you do the same. Anyway, I told you about that time I flipped the bus, huh? I did? <laughs> oh yeah, well, shucks. Uh, I might be running out of stories. <laughs> oh, shucks. Uh, I told you about the moon men, right? Yeah. Just now, well, hmm, guess I'm at a loss for words. Oh my goodness. Getcha. That's slang for see you later. Of course you know that. What am I saying? You're a true blue sand rocker at this point. Yep, be seeing you then. <laughs> Jasmine's eyes are glazed over. <laughs> Which is to say, goodbye. So long. It's like I wasn't want I didn't want to be here. I just got stuck in the cutscene. And uh <laughs> you know, do me a favor, will you? Really. Really. Really, really. Really. Take care of yourself. Oh. You have become more powerful than anyone could ever imagine. Stamina plus five. <laughs> Look at you, sir. Uh, There you are. Oh, are we keeping you? You should go chat with all your friends. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere.
my baby's all grown up. And you're a really great builder. So proud of you. Look at you. All grown up, dependable. I couldn't be more proud. So, out of curiosity, did they change their looks to match my look? Or is this just how they looked and... Like, she's not blonde because I'm not blonde? Just... Hey there, Builder. Me had asthma. Doctor man with burp, give me a inhaler. Now life much better. Me got dream job. Move thing for Kugo Band. Go on tour, go from house to stage again and again. Bring the stuff. One day, I play my song. Brody. <laughs> Really hard to interact with them. Pancha Duvos, always okay. And sleepy political actor. <laughs> okay. Uh. Everybody here for you, huh? Me here for snacks. Mole, who is quick with a joke. All right. Wokey was wokey, right? That was the crafty. Crafty, I am trying really hard to interact with you, but it keeps giving me wokey. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey, I'm Builder. I'm Builder now. Uh, can make wood axe you want? Can cut nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Crafty. All right, and then we got Grumpy. Uh, me am only one not happy? Huh? He am only one not happy. Everyone happy. Maybe Grumpy has problem. <laughs> All right. My stepmother is still out there somewhere, but I think we're okay now. Still, she did try to kill me. I don't really get over that. One thing I did get over, however, is my unhealthy obsession with Logan. Yes. Just as soon as I found out he was a good guy and not a bandit, all of my infatuation just faded away. I totally grew as a mouse person. It's not like I have a thing for mysterious bad boys. Oh, who's that military guy? Avery, you say? <laughs> oh my. Hey! Everyone's talking about you at this party. They all say you're great. So you must be great. My next song is dedicated to you. Well, I'm certainly glad you all managed to change my mind about this place. I stand by my original assessment. Most of the folks around here are, let's say, unconventional. <laughs> but you all got the job done and then some. There's one thing I was always curious about. How exactly did you all manage to... <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it's better not to know how the sausage is made. Got a point. When you see a sausage being made, you do sometimes question your eating choices. <laughs> okay, so... Is it you guys? Enjoy the party and wait for tomorrow. going on out here guys oh there they go <laughs> I 
There's something over here it wants me to do. So let's go figure that out. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Arvio. I run by the Sass, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our prices hard to beat. I remember. The billboard, right? At the train station. You raised your hand the other day when I suggested you leave Sandrock. Ah, uh, well, you know, you made a really good offer, and I moved to Sandrock for the opportunities. So, it was hard to, huh? Ignore it. <laughs> Speaking of which, please take a look at this gift box. You'll see it contains a hand-picked selection of Sandrock specialties. My sister's pottery, sand rice and dried sandberry. All fine goods, unavailable outside of this town. But of course, the highlight is certainly this eye-catching Dashing, beautiful gift box. This will bring customers from all over. If you'd invest and buy the stairs, we can make these the biggest thing since, well, since ever. You want me to invest? In what, a gift box? Of course, a gift box as beautiful as this. People will clamor to buy it. The billboard I set up has been bringing in customers already. Why? People step off the train and the first thing they ask is, where's by the stairs? Okay, is that it? Well, yeah. For now, if you invest, we'll be able to make better products all the time. And what do you think? I think it's a great idea. Seems your talent in your craft hasn't given you a sense of business. Ouch. First question, do you know how many tourists come to Sandrock every year? Uh, several thousand? I see a few people coming off the train every day. According to my team in Atara, Sandrock sees a yearly average of less than 200 tourists. Uh... Your current demographic... Uh... Optimistic, but... Uh... It now has an op... What? Uh, well, if that's... Wait! Uh, Mr... I'm listening. Uh... uh my billboard! Uh... You don't understand. All right, we're done. 100,000 calls? What? I say? You'll get another chance. Sorry. That was weird. Do something like this. <sighs> Recently, I've made some progress with my love life. In the end, my significant other didn't really care for what I wore. How about that? <laughs> if only Zena hadn't left. Our half string could have studied here. Uh, Zena's right next to you. <laughs> Bumble is that bumble? Correct. Thing? Please enter. Welcome. <laughs> when I found out you were alive and no one blamed me for what seemed like your death, uh, I doubled back double time. While I was out in the desert, I made it my mission to clear my name, to uncover the mystery surrounding Sandrock, which led me to discover that, in fact, Logan was framed by Duvo spies. <laughs> <Think> <laughs> <Lisa>. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay. This, of course, was also uncovered by all of you here in town before me. But if you had just failed to figure it out for a little bit longer, I totally could have helped out. What is he doing here? Oh, plus, check it out. I traded my feng shui plate for these three magic beans. They're said to possess great power. All I have to do is uh, figure out how they work. Anyway, join the party. <laughs> the real party. That's right. This is the VIP room, baby. At least uh, that's what the people downstairs told me. Uh, don't be shy. I'll go around and say hi. Quite the adventure you've been on. You know, if you're ever looking for a change in career, I've always wanted a sidekick. Huh? Remember, I tried to use my status to coerce Katori into going out with me, and well, I haven't really done anything since. Wait, how come I didn't get a redemption arc? <laughs> Patience, family. Huh? Hmm. Uh, hey there, I'm not sure if you remember. I was in town to see Fang when my daughter was sick. Oh, hey there, I'm not sure if you remember me. I'm in town to see Fang when my daughter was sick. She made a full recovery. Now she's thinking of being a doctor herself. Tax fraud tourist. Huh. Greetings and salutations. It's me, the guy who talked about committing tax fraud. Well, I did it. I didn't pay my taxes this year. What? You didn't either? You're committing tax fraud as well? The legendary builder of the free cities? Wow. Member of Heidi's construction team. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, Builder. I'm one of the guys who works on Heidi's construction team. Yeah, you don't know me. I've always been too shy to say hi, but I just wanted to tell you, I think you're awesome. Huh? Okay. Ooh. I just thought I'd been a while since I stopped in. I wanted to see the scenery, but they put me in here. Well, it's nice to see you anyway. It's black. <laughs> You'll know Snack, she's got the knack, but you, you're a buildo maniac. Back to back, top of the stack, leading the pack. You're never off track. Let me just drop the act. Oh, wait, I mean, I just want to say, I always thought you were really cool, and I hope the whole rhyming thing didn't diminish the value of how I really feel. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, it's me, the mediocre builder who just shows up to watch the yearly ceremonies. Uh, part of me always hoped that, despite never having enough points to even be on the charts, a clerical error might one day be made to make me king. <laughs> mm. uh, it's probably best that I hang out here in the VIP room. <laughs> there are a few people down below I don't particularly want to run into. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much left everything behind to live a dream, and now it's turned into a dramatic nightmare. Water wasting tourist. Oh. Hey, it's me. I had some choice things to say to you back when I was water waster, and I know it doesn't excuse what I did, but I was just going through a really rough time. You helped me turn things around, so thank you. Hello, I never did write that romance novel about a bandit and a builder. Once I heard Ernest was working on basically the same thing, I started writing a novel for teenagers where the hero the hero is the chosen one. Now I have a million goals. <laughs> Alright, this is our guy right here. Oh wait, you didn't tell me you were a national hero before tricking me into getting my tail whipped. Come on, courtesy, mate. Uh, well, no worries. Maybe the real fight in words was the friends we made along the way. Alright. Quite the adventure you've been on. <laughs> what do I even do about any of that, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have to assume that there's gonna be an update coming to make this mean something, because right now it's pretty... Blah, isn't it? Okay, today's the day we go out on the airship. We better go check it out. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary, I mean, real vehicle. To 
your left, you'll see the fabulous Porsche Tunnel. A joint effort. Several leagues through solid rock that connect us to our water shipping neighbors. To your right, the fabulous Katori World! Happiest place in the free cities! But don't take my word for it. Take the whole family for a ride on the world famous Coaster World! Oh, <laughs> apologies for the turbulence. But what you're feeling now is only a fraction of the wind that we used to get before. Ahem. <clears throat> With that, allow me to direct your attention towards. Outback Forest! Everything else! Over there is all the trees that we planted. There's people like my mom, and the builder, and Mr. Zeke, and Neon, and Dia! We've got one more trick up our sleeve, as it were. This airship is equipped with environment maintaining technology. Incredible. Coming up now on the last stop of the tour. What you see before you is Martel's Oasis, restored to its former glory through the monumentous efforts of our wonderful townsfolk. Indeed, what you see before you is the jewel of the Yuvala. Ah, <laughs> this concludes the tour. Now, everyone, please just enjoy the ride. Well, how do you feel? I think I'm sad somehow, which is true. Really? Me too. But it's a good sad. I think maybe we're just sad because it's over. I mean, our struggle. We've won. But now, with no serious challenges on the horizon, what follows is some feeling of emptiness. But, the end of our struggle means not just a new chapter for Sandrock, but for ourselves, too. It's been a long road. Sometimes, when I look at old photographs, I hardly recognize myself. To think that flawed person changed to be the one standing here with you now. Sometimes, things looked bleak, really bleak, but we had each other, and new friends we made along the way. We pushed through. We never gave up, no matter how bad it looked. And through it all, we were able to create a better world for our children. So, what's next for us? I really can't say. But what I do know is that we have earned our destiny. Every day here, every day, belongs to us. Life goes on here because of what we did, because of all of us. I know we made a difference. Feel the weight that comes from everything down there. But it's different now. I feel a kind of safety under that weight. 
Maybe it's because... I know... We can carry it now. Complete the main story? No! I knew it was happening, but I wasn't ready. I mean, I just sat through the credits. I knew it was happening. <laughs> Probably sounds like a broken record, but I wish my pa was here to see this. It been so hard for him. For anyone to imagine things could end up like this. If I'm honest, it all seemed pretty bleak there for a time. So, wherever he is, hope we got to surprise him one last time. Reckon now, just gotta keep our eyes pointed towards the future. Can't bring back what we lost, but we can rebuild. You're the one who showed me that. Having you around gives me hope. So, here's to hoping, and here's to you. <laughs> Thanks. confused. Uh, rest assured, Mayor Gale. I think our good doctor is still giving it some thought. Any ideas, doctor? Possibly. Yes. Oh. Sensitive to sunlight, weakness, fevers, delicate skin, sometimes collapses and comas. Condition Stabilized by cactus juice. Yes, exactly. I can try a cure. Really? No kidding. Yes. That's wonderful news, Mayor Gale. But she needs to come in herself. Oh, that'd be hard, but I'll arrange it. Thank you, Doctor. A try is all we ever hoped for. I'll let them know at once. May I use your telegraph, Mayor Trudy? Of course. This way, please. Yes. That's... a patient's family. This patient will come... in a bit. Not easy to treat. Worry not. I'll... be prepared. <laughs> oh, man. I am, like, too emotional right now. I need to calm down. Ah. <sighs> it's you. You look shattered. Are you okay? It's nothing. I'll be fine. I've just... I had to look after the general store as well. If you need anything, I'll be with you as soon as possible. Arvo not pulling his weight? Arvio, he was devastated when Musa criticized his idea. You know, he puts on this Arvio's, of course it's tiring. But I know, I think it's better. Fine, but perhaps you're right. I do need a break. I'll try and take it easier for a while. It's useless for us both to burn out. Is there something you need to...
Ah. Huh. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing? I came and and you? I yes, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have I just I didn't know. I just wanted to apologize. But I can't you my sister, I don't know when I was going I I'm not going to Rambo always stop. Look at you. Where's Ma? Owen. This guy is left. Well, hmm. find the mirror yet? Where's the mirror? All right, I think uh, I'm gonna stop here with the series. Uh, there's, I could, well, it's not true. I still need to fall in love, <laughs> and I still need to take you guys on a deep dive through all of the ruins that's still on my game plan. Uh, but I've been playing pretty much non-stop for a week and I need to go do something else <laughs> for a while uh, now that we finished the main story. I still have a lot of plans. I Knowing how uh, this game works and how it worked in Porsche, there's going to be more content coming out uh, in it. And, you know, I think they already laid the groundwork for the next game as well. So yeah, that's exciting. Anyway, thanks for keeping me company and I'll see you on the next episode.